Hi, I'm Roy Davies. I'm currently serving as the chapter or the board president on the board of directors for the National Organization of Compassionate Friends. I'd like to thank everyone out there for viewing this video. And I'll start with the fact that uh, TCF was never a part of my life, nor had I ever dreamed it would be. January 13th, 2008, my youngest or my oldest son, Roy Davies, was playing Xbox on campus and his heart stopped and uh, he was 20. I had I struggled with it for a long time with several different issues and uh, in 2010 my wife and I, Barbara, who's right here, Barbara Davies, we moved to uh, Nashville to try to get a fresh start and uh, we, had, we had started attending a meeting place in uh, Ohio where we lived and uh, it helped a little bit and when we moved to Nashville, I told her we needed to find something else to help because I needed help surviving the, the loss of my son. And uh, Barbara, or no, I, I discovered the Compassionate Friends in Nashville and we began attending there in 2011. And uh, we were not very active at the time. And then in April of 2012, my 15 year old son went to the doctor's office and uh, became unresponsive and two hours later, they pronounced him dead from a blood disorder. Uh, I once again was in, in the same place that I'd been in 2008, but but the Compassionate Friends was there for me. They uh, they helped me walk the walk, learn how to stand again. And, and I decided in 2014 that we were gonna try to go to the national conference to see what we could do. We had just become, or we're working on, we had just become chapter leaders in the Nashville chapter and uh, we had discovered that helping was healing and I wanted to help more. In uh, 2014, we went to the national conference in Chicago and I went to a few workshops and in one of the workshops, I felt that I actually made a difference in somebody's life. I felt that he was uh, struggling greatly, yes? Yes. And through talking to him on the side and, and, and walking the walk with him, I think that we helped him learn to walk and it made me feel better. It made me a better person and taught me to start to listen and, and to help other people. I had never been in such a situation to learn to help someone and realize that I received as much from helping them as they received from me helping them. Um, I struggled for many years, but I also learned that I could do something. So in uh, 2017, I ran for the board and was elected by the members. And in, Jan in July of this year, I was elected president of the board of directors in my fourth year after being reelected to the board. And I'm, I'm so proud that I can, I can try to help make a difference and hopefully be there for the next person that needs the compassion of friends. Um, you wanna say something? I always wanna say something. I know. <laughs> so like Roy said, we, we've discovered that helping is healing. It sounds cliche, but it's our lives. And uh, I, my uh, situation is the same, but different. As they say, we might all be in the same boat, but we're not on the same journey. And so I'm a bereaved stepmom and um, I have found my place to help as a, I help moderate the, uh, the Facebook page for step parents and a uh, step parents, um, journey is a little different it's complicated. it's complicated it's complicated and i've uh i've been honored to do a few workshops at some national conferences for step parents and uh, that's helped me find my place and we what we found in this in this crazy journey is uh um we have an energy we have an energy yeah. that we uh we need to to use on something and uh, some of the folks in our chapters get involved in MAD because they lost their child to a, a drunk driver and and others find um, uh, fighting cancer. They find a, a mission a and a cause mm -hmm. and uh, we don't have a cause. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Both boys died of natural causes and that's a that's a tough one. So we did, uh, we were floundered for a while until we found compassionate friends and we found our, our place to help in the compassionate friends. So um, when we have new members coming in, because we know how much helping is healing, even the newest of the new want to do something. 
And so what we do is find ways for them to help and, and dip their toe in the water. It might be something as easy as bringing snacks to a, to a TCF meeting, um, volunteer to write letters to the newly bereaved. Our chapter does that as new people join us. Uh, just volunteer in your chapter, setting up tables or chairs. Um, like me, help moderate a Facebook page. Um, if, if nothing else, sign up for a Kroger card, uh, Amazon Smiles, charity days at, uh, at uh, department stores. There's so many ways that, that you can help that uh, doesn't cost anything, but maybe a little energy. And if there's anything, any holiday message we can bring at this time, find a way to help because it will help you. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Happy holidays.